the thought of a kickoff going through the upright being worth uh, one point, Jack Fox just re-brought this back up because they're talking about kickoff and overtime rules changing potentially because the NFL was always allegedly trying to evolve the game. Now, what that consists of is a lot of shit just getting thrown, you know, at the wall. Like, hey, we should try this. We should try this. Mm -hmm. We should try this. And it's all because the game in the NFL is trying to keep up. Now, you saw a lot of rules change that kind of have opened up the game a little bit more, both for player safety and for potential fantasy and for everything like that. They try to keep the game evolving while still holding back the OG roots, but they promote a lot within the NFL. Like, hey, if you have an idea that you think could potentially make this game better, like, we want to hear it. Like, go ahead and pitch that yeah. thing. We want to hear what you're thinking. No matter how absurd you think it is, it might lead to another idea. Like, that is what the NFL is. That's why always this time of year where there's league meetings and rules being passed, you always hear ridiculous <laughs> shit getting pitched. Mm -hmm. and it's like, that's never going to happen, but maybe that'll lead to a conversation down the road. The kickoff through the uprights resulting in a point has been one that has been talked about i think like for five years at this point it would be awesome and if it, if jack fox wants it that means jack fox believes he can do this if called upon because there has to be some sort of penalty if it doesn't you have to do, like there was a lot of people tweeting like yeah but what if it doesn't get through i was like well just have to be a touchback like that's just yeah. what it would have been anyways mm -hmm. and they're like well shouldn't you declare it and if you don't then somehow i'm like maybe maybe whatever but if a kicker could put a ball from it would have to be a 79 yard kickoff basically if it wanted to go through the uprights it's 75 yards to the back of the end zone to go through let's assume it had to be about 79 maybe 80 yards to go through there if a football whacker guy <laughs> okay with the game on the line can trot out there and hit a ball 80 yards and still keep it straight somehow to go through there, I think that's worthy of a point. That could change a lot of things. Now, if you're down three or down six or, mm -hmm. or down five, whatever, obviously not good. But if the game's tied and there's like four seconds left, you know, and instead of the squib ball where it gets caught and then a kneel happens, like, why not let the meathead go ahead and try to bomb it through there? The outcome might go through there. If that goes through, by the way, oh. it would be fucking electric. The stadium, the sideline, oh. the other team. Yeah. I think you could send people back there to maybe jump up and block yeah. it. Like, you know, like I think you make it all thing. I am. I have been on board with this rule because at one point in my career, I thought I could if I really, like, hey, if I need to put one through, I could. There's guys though that do it on a, that have massive legs. Graham Gano used to do it. I think like every single weekend almost, and I was very impressed. I didn't want to blow out my legs, so I wasn't going for it. But man, if there was a chance where I could score. I think I'd be going for it a lot more. And everybody's like, well, that, that doesn't help like the kickoff being more excited because it's just a lot more touchbacks probably. I was like, I think people are going to be excited. Yeah. yeah. I think people will be excited. Opening kickoff, guy goes and won nothing before. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, here we go. Let's get this thing going. And if people want like a repercussion if you miss it, why not make like the touchback to 30 or the 35? And that's where you get to go if he does miss or come up short or whatever. Yeah, because they already moved it right to yeah. the 25 or whatever. Mm -hmm. exactly. like, go ahead and move it to the 30 feel like Bucker could hit one of those a game the way he mashes it. If he oh, wanted yeah. to, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, would be fantastic <laughs> to watch. That's so, I think he hit one fucking 90 or something I saw. I, they, some of these dudes, because they've honed in the techniques. So, like, I never had the technique because I wasn't flexible. So I'm just going purely off of brute force <laughs> trying to move this ball that is heavier than people expect and you're trying to explode this thing and make it go 80 yards in the air at least i mean it is it, you have to be explosive to be a kicker and punter in the nfl i think that's why it's very difficult for some people to make it you see a lot of college kickers and punters they're good like hey a lot of really good guys but to really do it especially now that there's 17 games yeah. plus obviously mm -hmm. you have to be a very powerful explosive if there was a chance where these meatheads could literally be trying to murder footballs every single time i think it would get good they'll never pass it Okay, this is a rule that will yeah. never get passed. Mm -hmm. Canadian football has something like this, I think, where you can punt and get a point, and I think you can, uh, what is it, a toonie? I think it's a miss, if it's a missed a field rouge. goal, if it's a missed field goal and the guy catches it and runs it out, I think it's a point. I'm not exactly sure how it yeah, it's works. It's like a so. rouge or something. You can punt mm. and score points if you kick a touchback or something like that. You know, a couple loonies, a couple toonies, a couple rougies. Now you're really living up there in Canada. I mean, for gambling, too. If, you're, if, you, if you got a half point in this. How about the over-under? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the, the, the over-under is at, let's say it's at 40. Yeah. Okay? It is 20 to 19 or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
So now the game is over, though. Just one kickoff left. Okay, now does this, if this guy goes to make this thing 21 19, and then it's a push as opposed to a loss that is definitely happening, or if that thing carries it even to an over, and then you, you fucking, you see half the people just lose, it would be electric. Incredible. It, and there's not everybody like, well, a lot, everybody would be able to do it. It's like, no, 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 that is, <laughs> uh-huh. that is not something everybody's doing. Because you'll see some people, and they'll hit it through the back of the end zone. It's like, that's a bomb. That is certainly a bomb. But to keep it straight enough to mm-hmm. go through the uprights, is very impressive, should be rewarded. Well, and if there's like an unsportsmanlike conduct and then I don't know. Move it up to the 50. Goal. Yeah, oh. and then it's like, okay, you just gave the other team a point because of that. We had a, there for a bit, it was like, anytime we get one of those, we're hitting an onside kick. Okay, we get to the 50, we're hitting an onside yeah. kick. And now they try to pump it or pooch it. I could never do the pooch short sky kick uh, off the kickoff tee. I couldn't do it. I had no oh. idea how people were able to do it. So mine was either going through the back. <laughs> Off the net, or we're hitting an onside kick. It was like I don't have that one. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. I wish I did. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Do we think the Rock's gonna keep this? The, the role? The Is IFL? It? Yeah. It'd be dope. I don't know how many guys are kicking in the IFL that can do that though. Sure. Unless they're putting the uprights at the front of the end zone, like old school. Oh. 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 Hey, Rock. He could even make a video of him drinking some Zoa <laughs> mm-hmm. and yeah. pushing <laughs> uprights. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Up ten yards. Uh-huh. Uh.